Welcome everyone, it's the Crypto Lark, and today we are discussing the 0x protocol. 0x is an extremely important piece of the Ethereum ecosystem and the decentralized token economy overall. We'll be breaking down just what 0x is after a huge shout out to you. Seriously, you are awesome and I love you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And please keep in mind, this is not financial advice. This is just a dude talking about cryptocurrencies on the internet. Furthermore, this is not a sponsored review of 0x and I currently do not hold any 0x tokens. So what is 0x? Essentially, it allows for this secure, trustless, and feeless exchange of Ethereum-based assets. Everything can be tokenized. Property, stocks, gold, commodities like wheat, fiat, collectibles, art, tokenize everything is coming. And 0x wants to be at the center of it all. We all know about the problems faced by centralized exchanges, as it seems that not a month goes by without yet another high-profile hacking event. Decentralized exchanging where you control your private keys is the way of the future. 0x achieves this by using relayers or off-chain matching services now, the protocol is free to use, but the relayers may charge fees. But 0x does have an inbuilt exchange function, such as their OTC desk, which offers peer-to-peer -peer trading. Some of the relayers in 0x are currently in the process of obtaining the necessary permits to be able to list security tokens. 0x's focus on being as compliant as possible for the securities and derivatives market was a very clever move and may be a strong asset for them moving into the future. Some examples of relayers are the Ocean and Paradex. The Ocean, for example, has crazy low fees, true market orders, and selective listings. KYC is mandatory on the Ocean. Paradex, fast, functional, and secure, and it has even been acquired by Coinbase. But these two represent just the tip of the iceberg with a whole host of relayers built on top of the 0x protocol, including the rather famous ETHFINEX, as well as other lesser known names like Amadeus, Bamboo Relay, Radar Relay, Shark Relay, and Moby Dex. Moby Dex, that's a nice one. I see what you guys did there. Mm. <laughs> the relayers are essentially order book aggregators, thus reducing fees since the orders do not have to go on the blockchain, of course, until they are ready to be settled. Essentially, off-chain order books and on-chain settlement. One of the most important features of the network of relayers is that liquidity can be shared across the network since they all share the same 0x protocol. By the way, the team is incredibly well connected in the crypto space and is backed by some of the most important funds and people in the industry. So what does the 0x token do? Well, first off, it gives governance rights. So the relayers and dApps will need to hold some 0x in order to have a say in the direction of the protocol. Secondly, fees. Some of the core services are feeless in 0x, but many relayers do require a small percentage to be paid in fees in ZRX tokens. But relayers could opt for free fees on trades. I mean, not many are likely to. You got to get paid, right? But it is certainly possible and some may adopt such a model. But there is no gas paid out, there are no masternodes, there are no dividends, and there is no burn model. Outside of relayers holding a small amount of ZRX tokens for governance purposes, there is not much incentive to hold the tokens, and traders will only need a small amount of ZRX for paying fees. So what are my key concerns about 0x? 
Well, to start off, decentralized exchanges are very popular. We have Kyber Network and IDEX, and we even have protocols like Loopring. And the advent of DEXs from huge players like Binance will put even more heat on solutions like 0x. Unless, of course, Binance implements 0x in their DEX. We also see a paradox currently with DEXs in that there is an explosion of decentralized exchanging options, but very few users, with even the most popular DEXs having very, very low daily volume. This tech will need time for adoption. Ethereum, while the biggest smart contract blockchain, currently has its limitations in terms of transactions per second, as we all know, and the audience of Ethereum is still quite small. Zero X will need to expand to other blockchains in order to remain competitive. But since others like Qtum run the EVM, it shouldn't be such a huge issue to expand the ecosystem. But many other blockchains may be non-compatible and atomic swap technology may put an even further strain on the user base. Recent moves by, for example, IDEX to block New York State users serve as a reminder that decentralized exchanging does not exist outside of the law, and there may be restrictions, particularly for US-based traders surrounding securities However, the possibility for decentralized exchanges to open markets remains huge as different players and different relayers may have little to no requirements for new users to sign up for their services. And what are the opportunities that I see for Xerox? Well, the governance mechanism will likely make it so that the protocol will be able to stay very flexible and develop the necessary tools to remain relevant moving forward. There is very good liquidity for Xerox, just of course very famously being added to Coinbase, very transparent team publishing regular reports, great partnerships with top exchanges, top dApps, and top industry players all involved in the protocol. Security tokens and non-fungible tokens are likely to give huge utility to these relayers as we move towards a tokenize everything world. Zero X being at the middle of that could be very profitable indeed. Now, what about the investment side? Zero X has been valued at more than a $1 billion market cap more than a few times and has reached prices of over $2 or 20,000 Satoshis well above the current level of 80 cents or 12,000 Satoshis. Currently, only around half of the total supply is in circulation. Well, Zero X is likely to perform very, very well in a coming bull run. The best buying opportunities for maximum profits were earlier this year, but there is a huge amount of interest building around Zero X and in projects building on 0x, the tokenization of securities and commodities will be massive and it has a very strong potential in the industry and already has a lot of industry recognition. There is a lot of opportunity with investing here, but as always, those are just my two Satoshis on the matter. Thank you so much for watching today's episode on 0x. I would love to know what you think about the 0x protocol down below in the comment section thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to stay up to date with what is happening in crypto. Join the conversation over on Twitter. Long live the blockchain, and peace out till next time.